In this unit, we will study light using the ray model of light. Our normal experience tells us that light travels in straight lines, called rays. The study of properties of light using light rays is called geometric optics. For example, we can use ray model or ray approximation to illustrate the reflection of light. When light is reflected off of a smooth surface, like this mirror, we have what we call specular reflection. The reflected rays follow the law of reflection. The angle of incidence equals to the angle of reflection. Again, these angles are measured between the rays and the normal line, the line that is perpendicular to the reflecting surface. When light is reflected off of a surface, such as this piece of paper, we have diffuse reflection. For simplicity, we can look at diffuse reflection as reflection off of a microscopically rough surface. One beam of incident light produces reflected light rays in all directions. For specular reflection, an observer's eye has to be at a certain angle to see the reflected rays. For diffuse reflection, reflected rays can be seen at all angles. That is why when I shine this laser beam on the paper, this red dot can be seen at all angles in front of the paper. When we see something, it means at least some light from that thing reaches our eyes. For example, we see the filament of this light bulb, either because the light it reflects reaches our eyes, or the light it emits reaches our eyes. For specular reflection off of this mirror, we cannot see the incident ray or the reflected ray, unless if I put something here to produce diffuse reflection so we can see the red light. Of course, in this case, we do see a faint red dot right here on the mirror because there is a little bit of diffuse reflection off of the mirror. I can also help you see light rays by spraying some of this uh, canned smoke in the air. Here we have the mirror and the white paper. The smoke particles reflect the light diffusely, allowing us to see the light ray along its path. This is specular reflection and the diffuse reflection.